Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kelly, and today we're gonna be playing another episode of Mass Effect. The last one ended off on such a serious and deep note. Last episode, we ended with Liara's mom, unfortunately having a moment of lucidness after being mind controlled by Saren's ship. She gave us a really important key piece of information to figure out what his next move is and how to possibly stop him. So. We're headed straight into the hot labs. It'll probably be a very action-packed episode if I had to guess, I don't really know. I'm not even really sure how much longer we have left in this game. I thought that we were gonna wrap it up last time. Not that I am like in a rush at all to finish these games. We're gonna see where the journey takes us today. I can't wait to hop in with you guys and see if we can stop Saren. I had to guess that if there's a Mass Effect 2 and 3, there's gonna be some sort of like repercussion. Somehow I've managed to stay away from all the spoilers from this game. How I've managed to do that, I do not know. It has made for a really awesome playthrough that I'm really enjoying a lot. Without further ado let's get started okay so let's go ahead and head down to the hot labs those things look gross i'm guessing they're just like building more bugs or i don't really know what's happening okay, it doesn't really tell me where i'm headed but i think this is the way yeah elevated hot labs tram science station okay So what's this way? All right, hot labs and is that just like, oh, it's blocked off. We can't go that way anyways. I thought that was like maybe back to, it said science lab maybe. All right, come inside the elevator. Come on. Get trapped out there. Apparently, it's like normal for Rex to get trapped inside the elevators. I just only had it happen to me once or twice. We got lucky. Who's that? Yaroslav Tartakovsky? Are you here to secure the situation? Are you okay? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Yeah, I do. We read about that with the hot labs. Like if something bad happens here, they have the ability to just like completely annihilate just the hot lab section, which I mean, if you're doing some sketchy stuff underground, <laughs> science wise, it's probably best to have a hot labs, but um, you let them loose. He didn't say that, but okay. You let these things out? Uh. I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. And they hatched it? They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Well, that didn't work. What about a male? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Is it just me or does he seem like he's like talking weird? <laughs> he sounds like he's like straining or something. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Yeah, and that's what I remember, like, he, seeing in the comments that, like, they get very, um, aggressive when they don't have, like, a leader or a mom. We should try to save them. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. Why? These Rachni are beyond saving. 
It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. Uh, I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Neutron purge? Like the explosion? When we were talking to the mom, I'm guessing that was the mom, right? The mom Rachni. Like when we were talking to the Rachni queen, she did say that like, it's unfortunate what happened to her offspring, but they're not gonna be able to be saved. And that's very similar to what he's saying, that they have to be, for the better of the, of the race, they need to be annihilated because there's no turning around, no making them better or getting them to stop being aggressive. It's how they were raised. I do remember her saying that now. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. <sighs> Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. He's talking so strangely. I don't know if that's just like him or what, but like he's being strange. All right, so why does it say I need a minute? Maybe we can go like check on some stuff or something. So the hot labs is just gonna completely be blown up. Like everything in here is gonna be blown up. The purge controls are over there. <sighs> Let's see what they have to say about it. The sooner we are off this frozen world. They just wanna leave. <laughs> Okay. What about you, Rex? Are you still mad at me? I hate the cold. Okay. Well, I guess now is as good as time as any. It's kind of strange. Like, I feel like I'm, I should be doing something. But we can't go back. We can't. Okay, let's go. I am feeling not so well. Um, how do I trigger the purge? How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira instruction. Oh my gosh. Uh. Kill them all. Okay. How many more are That's there? The last of them. Okay, just that one. I thought that maybe he was being mind controlled. Like, I didn't want to say it, but he was kind of talking like that one, like when the mom was talking through the person, it was like very like strained. I don't know. He was just talking so weirdly. <sighs> what is this? Acquire the codes. Okay, so did we do that? I guess by searching him, we acquired the codes. All right, let's go get rid of these things there. They have to meet their end. There's no coming back for them, unfortunately. It's sad, but they were born in extreme environments, so. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Estimate. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. <laughs> of course. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Okay, well, initiate it. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. <laughs> Mumble something. <laughs> I have the code. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay. Well, we gotta go. <gasps> Holy schmolies. There's so many of them out here. Holy crap. Here, Rally move round. up. Kill that one on the floor. <laughs> Is there a timer? Oh my God, look at all of them. There's so many on the map. 
Okay, let me just do like some shield boost. You do whatever you're doing, Yara. It's working. Look at how many. Because they're all in. They're all in there, I guess. Dang. Okay, let's just leave. Um, okay. I was like, where's Liara? Oh, I thought we were gonna have to fight all of the red that was on the map. I got worried, but I guess it's just because they're... They're in there. Okay. Well, it should be... Destroyed now. So I guess we just get back to the tram. Head back and talk to everybody. What does my journal say? You've discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a reaper called the Sovereign. A sapien worship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleashing a new reaper invasion on the galaxy. Mission complete, you've defeated the Matriarch and eliminated the Rachni. Depart the Rift Station via the, okay, the passenger tram. All right, so that's where we're going. That was crazy. So much stuff happened here. I feel bad for Saren because like after seeing Liara's mom become lucid like that, like I want to know, is he going to become lucid? Can he fight the power? We need to hurry, Commander. My Benezia said she transmitted the Mew Relay's coordinates to Saren. He may have already gone through. We can't follow him. That relay's inside the Terminus systems. They're not fond of Alliance ships over there or Spectres. We don't really have a choice. Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren probably has his whole fleet in orbit around Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. It is our only hope. The Council? You think they're going to listen to us? All right. <laughs> I mean, we should alert them, but uh, I don't know if they'll send help. Crew dismissed. Joker, alert the Council. Tell them everything. Aye, aye, Commander. That's what they say. Okay. It's finally coming down to an end here. All right, so report to the council to warn them of the sovereign's plan to attack the Citadel. So we're just going like back to the, um, back to the Citadel now. Okay, let me go talk to Joker real quick and see if he has anything to say. I also want to go talk to our crew members. I'm guessing Rex is going to give us some... some salty answers. Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I just want to talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm You've not already good. Asked I'm not even this. great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. <laughs> Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. We've had this conversation you mean, before. You mean you didn't know? That's why I'm laughing because it's like, oh, it's awkward to be like okay. talking about I've it again. I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. Yes, the bones we in know. my legs never, even we with know, Joker. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Okay. Just don't ask okay. me. I have to go. Calm down. All right, see ya. <laughs> All right, so nothing new from Joker. That's okay. Um, Who's this? Was he always standing here? I guess he was. Plus, we have a lot of stuff to sell down below, too.
Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Liara first since she's on this floor. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. She did. In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once. Before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. Oh, she's still with you. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Well, at least there was some, like, closure. I remember talking to you guys about how, like, the end was just kind of, like, weirdly scripted, where Liara didn't really have that moment of, like, sadness. Like, she just kind of, like, makes a gasp, and then that that's the end of it, which is kind of strange, especially since, like, you can't have a conversation with her after. But um, this game is, like, older. It did come out kind of a while ago, so it makes sense that it's kind of rough, so... I'm not judging too hard. I was just a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a little bit more of like an interaction. All right, so I'm gonna go just sell all of our stuff. We have a lot of like just guns everywhere from that last mission that we went on. And it seems like we have like pretty much the best of the best. So I'm gonna sell some stuff and then we're gonna go talk to the rest of our crewmates. Looking for supplies? So we sold pretty much everything. Um, I saved some, like, weapon upgrades, of course, and some armor upgrades, but that's about it. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Adventures? Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. Volus Diplomat? I want to ask both of these. What was the job? What did he want you to do? He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Hmm. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. <laughs> we spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary. That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told <laughs> Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. His little, like, laugh. Then what? So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition. I had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. Jeez. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone. Life support was failing. But I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, 
the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Did Elena get out? I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. What about the Volus? What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. <laughs> KG. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, Rex. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. Have we asked him about mercenary before? This is new. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. So you like it then? I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. I feel like we can constantly talk to Rex about something. Like, Liara's conversations, aside from like her romantic conversation that we embarked on with her last time, like really doesn't really feed into us much. Like Rex, we've had like full-blown conversations with that just talk about his background. Like I know more about Rex than I know about any of our other crewmates. I think it's very interesting. Um, I hope that in like ME 2 and 3 that there'll be a little bit more like juicier dialogue between crewmates and stuff like that. That's something that I'm looking forward to, but I don't know if it's actually in the next ones. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go, but that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. Mm -hmm. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Yeah, we did talk to her already. Great, she thinks that we made a mistake too. She didn't get the full story. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. She never wants to talk Not to us. Anyway. Like, we get this response from her every time. Dismissed, Chief. Oh, well, maybe if we took her on more yeah. missions with us, um, we would have more dialogue, but I don't know if this game works in that way. Maybe that's why we're able to talk to Rex so much more. I don't know. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. And you were right about Dr. Salia, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Mm, okay. Alright, we'll go talk to Tally. 
and if we do have a chance before we go to the citadel we can go do tally's side quest today i do really want to finish up tally's side quest hey shepherd i don't want to just like something? skip it i want her to be able to do it i know it's kind of like an odd timing to do it but when in this playthrough have i done something at the right time the answer for most of you is probably never but in my opinion i thought that i've played the game like pretty actually well like chronologically i think that it's gone very well i should go all right we can't see anything further see about later. her so i'm assuming that it's because we have not done her background quest maybe what's this on the map Oh, the lockers. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to head up and we can try to complete Tally's pilgrimage because I don't know if it plays a part in Mass Effect 2 and 3 or not, but I guess it would be good to help her embark on her journey. So let's take a look. Okay, so I think it's this one. Geth activities head to the Armstrong Nebula cluster to investigate what the Geth are up to. Armstrong Nebula. Okay. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Okay. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. I think it's too late. I'm sorry, Tally. <laughs> I didn't have an option. You can't say I didn't try. Oh, man. Well, on my second playthrough, I'm going to have to uh, do Tally's pilgrimage. I'm sorry, guys. I let you down. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Surprisingly. The is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It's not over, though. Um, send me after him. What about the conduit? What about the reapers? Yeah, what is... What is the answer to all of these? It's not over. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We yeah. have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done what? your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no <sighs> longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe that just happened. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Yeah, that was like the weirdest movement. I thought she was like, I thought we were dying. <laughs> I get it, the graphics aren't amazing, but like that was the weirdest interaction. Uh, It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. Can't trust politicians, isn't that the truth? There's bigger issues. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. 
If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Yeah. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. What's the use? They're not going to listen. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We have to do something. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Yeah, we have to do something. There has to be some way. Oh. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. <laughs> Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> that was so intimate. I thought they were gonna kiss for sure. Uh, give me the message. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Okay. Well, we're taking Liara and Rex because that's pretty much been like our main crew for a bit now. Like, I love Tally. Um, I really wish that we could have done her pilgrimage. I'm so sorry. Um, if we have another chance to do it before this very last uh, Saren, Saren mission, then we'll go ahead and, and do it. But I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to do that. Things are getting very spicy very fast. It was my bad. I should have done it last episode before we went to equalizing interior pressure. With our last exterior mission, atmosphere. and I honestly completely forgot. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I was way too excited. I that's what it is. I was way too excited to figure out the last miss mission and get it started, and um, and I made a mistake. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. What? Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. Natural causes? What a bunch of lies. All the politics around here, I swear. All right, he wants to meet us. He wants to meet us at Flux. I think is what she said. What Joker said. Sorry. You're so rudely interrupted. Who's this? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What? What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Okay, what do, what do you want? I understand, it's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Um, <laughs> what? What is the drug? What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. Mm, it helps mm -hmm. me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Hmm, it sounds like Adderall. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? <laughs> The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. He started this conversation with, I'm gonna, I have something that's gonna change the world. We need to, he's an addict. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. I'm sure it'll be fine. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> my assistant wants yeah, to bend over backwards it'll be, for the Citadel it'll be races. Fine. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. 
Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then the game is wrong. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No, you need help now. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. <laughs> Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. It's gonna be okay, man. You need to go get some help. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. No, you should not. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. My goodness. Hopefully he really does go get help and he doesn't just wait outside for somebody else to come and get him into the med lab, which is probably what he's going to do. Sheesh. Okay, so who... There's Captain Anderson. Wait, is that who we're supposed to talk to? Oh, I'm yeah. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. He looks different without his uniform on. Um, yeah, now I know how you felt. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. But how? There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can oh be boy. in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. All right, tell me what to What's do. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. I feel like he's going to die for the cause. She just said armed guard. I don't know. Or he's going to go to jail forever. Are there any other options? There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Oh, boy. I don't want to choose his fate. Take my chances with the patrols. Whatever you think is the best one. You're a former captain. I don't want to make this decision for you. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Can't believe he's doing this. I'm guessing being held for treason means that he's probably going to go to jail or get executed. I don't really know how they handle things in the Citadel, but whatever his fate is probably isn't great. Probably not great. Um, oops, I went to the wrong one. It's been a while since I've been here. I don't remember where I'm going. Um, was it wards? Yeah, CSEC. That's how we get into our ship. It's weird that it's not like labeled like Bay Area. It's like CSEC, which I guess makes sense because you get to the ships this way, but... I've always thought that was odd. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. 
nothing to say about that, Rex. All right. Hopefully we can get out of here. I feel bad for Captain Anderson, but I mean, it's either that or, you know, we just let Siren take over. Stand by shore party. It's life or death right now. In progress. It's going to take one sacrifice to make things. Oh boy. Anderson, what are you doing here? I Push him. Push. Oh yeah. Deserve that. Joker's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Ready to do crazy things. I feel like he'd probably have the soundtrack with like Highway to Hell blaring in the, <laughs> in the cockpit. I'm on the highway to hell. You would totally have that soundtrack. All right, so we're back here. I wonder if it'll let us go do Tally's mission. I know that it's kind of strange. Like we just escaped the Citadel. We should probably not be out and about doing whatever we want to do. We should probably be heading straight for Saren, but let's pretend that he's trapped somewhere. He's on his way, but we have time to do one more important mission before he gets to where he needs to go. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do Tally's pilgrimage. Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. Or worse. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Mm -hmm. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. I don't know which one we're supposed to go to. Are we supposed to go to all of these? He did say four locations, and it looks like there's four in the Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Is this the same dude? How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy. And the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. What? So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral, and I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Okay. So, hang on, I have a question. I just want to look at something real fast. Because we got two at once, and I don't want to accidentally go for this one. Get to the medical base on Chohi. Located in the Cacus system of the Hades. Okay, so a completely different uh, cluster. Okay. That makes me feel better. Because I didn't want to, like, accidentally head down to one. And we don't really... We're not really supposed to be there. Ooh, this one's pretty. Almos is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sodium darkening in its atmosphere. Pregel. An enormous terrestrial world with an atmosphere of chlorine and ethane. 
Its surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of aluminum. No landing has ever been attempted. We, saw, we found some marker buoys orbit, orbiting it. Chief Engineer Adams secured some high-res optical images of the buoys. Um, they've been neglected for some time. One is marked with a Batika colony insignia. Hmm, I don't think we've ever seen one of those before. And looks like we're headed down to Mahi for our first Geth incursion. It orbits the Vamshi binary giant stars. Vamshi A is a blue star of spectral class A4111, which burns at half again the temperature of Sol. Vamshi B is an aging red giant of class M5111, over 220 times the size of Sol. Mahi has a thin atmosphere of methane and carbon monoxide. The difference in temperatures between the hemisphere facing the suns and that facing deep space cause constant wind, stirring the silica and sodium dust of the surface. Unsavory characters from the Terminus systems occasionally use Mahi for forms of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling shipmates, or even wind bored vicious animals onto the surface. What the heck? One must kill the other before they are re rescued from the lethal radiation of the gas stars. Jeez. I'm not really excited to go here. Wow, that looks crazy. All right, so for these missions, I'm just gonna head straight to where we have to. Um, so we can finish up these today for a bit. What are those? I'm guessing I should go up this way. It looks like there's like kind of a little road up this side of this mountain here at the cost of some turrets set up everywhere. Okay, it's down. <laughs> Missed. Looks like there might be a couple more up here. to like hop over it but it's hard to tell where i'm hopping in this in the zoomed in camera view i will say this looks really cool it looks very very cool probably one of my favorite surfaces that i've been on so far just because of this view right here very cool Okay, so, okay. What is that? Is it this thing? Oh, they're on like, tur okay. They're people. They're just like in the tower. Any more? There's one more, Ooh, one more dude. Okay. And maybe a turret? Oh yeah, this thing. Geth Colossal. Let's try to run it over. <laughs> Big bada boom. Uh oh, I'm out of bullets. Three more of these outposts left to clear out. That's this it? Should be fun. That wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's head back to the Normandy.
I thought we were gonna have to like go inside of an outpost and like do that whole like shooter thing inside and go through the same looking areas, but that wasn't bad. We should get through these pretty quickly. All right, so we just finished Bamshi. Let's head over to Hong. Um, Trieger, a tiny ice dwarf with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Cryovolcanic processes are gradually repaving the surface with sheets of fresh ice. Um, and we found some lithium. Homal is an enormous terrestrial planet with a very dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sodium. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sodium oxides and deposits of nickel. There is evidence that Pomol was once covered in broad, shallow air, uh, seas. Should a probe ever be sent down to the surface, a check for ancient fossil life might prove valuable. Interesting. Um, the Shaka is a standard hydrogen-helium gas giant. In the past, it was often used as a drive discharge point for pirates raiding human settlements from the Terminus systems. In 2178, the Alliance set up a network of covert sensing devices on uh, Thassica's moons. Recordings of pirate FTL exit vectors over the course of six months led the Alliance Navy to eight major pirate anchorages. Since the Thassic raids, no ships from the Terminus have been reported in the Hong system. Nice. Matar, terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere composed of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of copper. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. Matar lacks a magnetic field. This makes it useless for discharging FTL drive cores in orbit. The energetic particles of solar wind from Hong strike the upper atmosphere directly, ionizing the krypton. This gives the planet its distinct minty green-white hue. Dr. Chakwas determined that determined it but learned nothing about its origin from a scan. Um, one of the matriarch Dilinga's writings. Cool. Ooh, Caspin. A classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen, lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential for future uh, habitability, hab <laughs> habitability and sapient life, Caspin has been designed a designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel. Nice. At present, the, pa the planet is passing through the debris trail of a long period comet. So not very safe. Not yet, at least. It's dark here. Yeah, you can see the rocks falling from the sky. Yeah, definitely not safe for habitat right now. All right, Geth Outpost this way. Yep. There's a lot more here. Woo, well, that's a missile. Uh, over here. Okay, where's big chonkers? There's gotta be one big chonkers here somewhere. Right? Oh, there's one more dude. All dead? Really? Oh no, here's big chonkers. <gasps> being flown in. Woo! 
Oh my gosh, I didn't think he was gonna put the brakes on. Wait, I have to fight this entire ship? Oh, they're dropping things. I wonder if I have to fight the ship. getting chonkier. I can't tell what's happening to my right. Is it just like the meteors? I'm scared to look over there. I don't see any red, but I hear a lot of noise. I think it's just the meteors like falling. These guys are ruthless. That's number two. Let's hit the next base. That's actually wild. That there was an entire just like drop ship that was teleporting guys up in here. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go back to the Normandy. Two down, two to go. I feel like it's really not taking that long. I'm just glad we don't have to go into like a bunker. Those take forever. Oops. Oh no, I am supposed to get out of this one. All right, on to Tereshkova. Although I probably should be taking Tally with me on these. Shouldn't I? Ooh, I like this one. I wish there were more like mountains and stuff and that would probably be my favorite. <laughs> um, it has an unusually large amount of nitrogen in the upper atmosphere, which glows purple when ionized by the solar wind. Sun Solara's convenience as a place to jump, dump drive charge has left its orbit littered with debris dumped over by visiting crews. Wow. Pretty. Oh, we're going there. Antibar is a cold terrestrial world with an atmosphere of methane and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron with deposits of magnesium. The world has been noted as a possible target for long-term terraforming. If the atmosphere could be increased to the thickness of Earth's, the global average temperature would rise by 10 degrees Celsius. Antibar's combination of low temperatures, high-speed surface winds, and low visibility make it di dangerous on foot. Yeah, I think I'm going to start bringing Tally with us. So we'll do like Tally and Rex and let Liara kind of chill. We should be letting her chill after her mom's everything. So it's probably for the best anyways. Yes, snowy mountains. <gasps> and it's like a pink purple sky. I like it here. All right, let's head. Let's head out. I wonder if we have like a Mako in Mass Effect 2 and 3 and how it handles. <laughs> I think I'm going to miss like the... <laughs> feeling like you shouldn't have ate before you come aboard felt a uh, feeling. Should be right over this hill. If I can get up there. Woo, look at that a bad spot to be in. I can't like back up at all. Who's shooting rockets? Jeez. All right, we're doing okay. Just need to be careful. All right, I'm gonna get down into this crevice here. No way we can like back up a bit. He needs to go. You gotta, you gotta go. All right, let's get our shields back up for a minute. Do our shields come back automatically? Yeah, they do. We just needed a second. <laughs> We're about to get rocked. Okay, let's peek back out. 
He's almost down. Come on. Yep, he's down. Hey, we leveled up. I didn't know we could still level up. I just haven't seen it in a while. All right, looks like there's three more over here. Oh, there's one guy. He's over here. He's dead. Big chonkers. Is he down? Did they leave? Oh, there's more. Just one outpost left. I'm going to miss slaughtering death like this. <laughs> Okay, nice. I was waiting for Rex to say his thing. All right, one more. We're whipping through these. I'm just gonna survey if there are any like survey places. Malinor. It was thought that Malinor formed too close to Tereshkova stars and was thrown outward by gravitational effects. Computer models suggest it will be ejected from the system in a few hundred thousand years. Interesting. While scanning the planet, you determined uh, Mercury. <laughs> the temperature difference between the sunward hot pole and the dark side cold pole creates constant gale force winds across the Terminator. Yeah, and probably like a bunch of tornadoes. That's a Malrius. We found iridium. Computer modeling suggests that the powerful solar winds from Tereshkova stars will blow off Patamaris' atmosphere in a few million years, lowering the temperature of the surface to the negative 70s. I'm guessing that's Celsius, which means that is very cold. Holy. Chanthur is a large terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and chlorine. The surface is mainly composed of aluminum and nickel. When the Asari linguists finally managed a translation, the elaborate relief carving said merely, walk among these works and know our greatness. The crude scratches on the base of the reverse side said, monsters from the ID. Monsters from the id. Matriarch Delane Naga's writings. That's creepy. A small, barren terrestrial world, world, Rayingri. While it possesses a reasonable temperature, climate, and number of useful resources, no mining corporation is willing to risk investment. A rogue planetoid dubbed Vats by the initial Solarian surveyor team entered the system approximately 10,000 years ago and was trapped in a decaying orbit around Rayingri around Ryangri. It is nearing the end of its slow spiral inwards. Earthquakes and cyclonic windstorms are increasing. Within a few hundred years, the planet will rip. The planets will rip each other apart. Some Asari travel consortiums have already announced sponsorships of cruises 
to observe this spectacle. Could you imagine being like, oh honey, let's go on our honeymoon. We're gonna go watch a planet just completely combust and rip each other apart. It's insane. I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> I feel like that's very, like, cruise material. It's kind of sad. What if you're caught in the gust winds of it? Oh my gosh. Oh, this area is pretty cool. This is the outburst. Yeah, overrun outpost. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this is an actual outpost. Okay. Well, that's deserving for the last one. Oops, no, 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 no. Cover me. I don't remember the get button to get out. We've seen those before. I think we've seen the tornado shotgun before. Oops. Mm, yeah. Okay. Not better than what we've got. I should probably save before I just come in here and willy-nilly start blowing up the place. I haven't saved since we were in Novaria. They can come from this side, right? Yeah. Shields down. Oh my gosh. Are they all coming from that side? Got it. Good to go. There's one on this side. There we go. Nope, I missed. Good job, Rex. <laughs> He's still alive. He's not alive anymore. No loot in here. Okay. Yeah, doesn't look like it. All right. You guys okay? Oh, they're coming in. There's two more. I just don't know where they're coming from. It shows them like here. Strange. Malfunctioning object. Okay. Great. Another crate. Lots of loot in here. Look at these bunk beds. <laughs> they look so small. Like, look how look how big Commander Shepard looks compared to these bunk beds. Like, her feet would be hanging off of them. Those are kids' bunk beds. <laughs> these poor people. <laughs> what horrible working conditions. Hmm... Okay, well, I don't know why they're still like red on the map and like Rex normally tells us when the mission's over, so I wonder if more just like popped up in the center room. 
to go check. Oh yeah, there's like a whole swarm. Okay. <gasps> oh, these are like actual like oh like big mama jamas. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, we're okay. Dang, those are like actual geth like troopers. Okay, there's more over this way. There's one. There's one like right over here. Where is he? They're like hiding from us. What the heck? Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's dead. Okay, there's one more back here. Probably doing the same thing. Just hiding back over here. <gasps> yeah, he's probably back. Yep. Oh, I missed. I missed. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Rex still hasn't said anything, so... I'm assuming we still have some fighting to do once we get outside. Because I don't see any other stuff going on in there. Okay, I'm going to save real quick. Just because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> Look through some of our things that we got. Yup, yup, yup. Figured that was gonna happen. Yup. What is going on? Need a better angle. Okay, he's down. That thing flew away, so hopefully once we kill these guys, we're done. I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Dang. Okay. So where's the signal? Like back inside? Find and destroy the main Geth base of operations in the oh, Grissom system of the Armstrong Nebula cluster in order to stop the Geth incursion. Okay, so that's where we're finding it. Armstrong Nebula Grissom system. We're in the Nar Armstrong Nebula, aren't we? Grissom system? Armstrong ne Nebula? Oh, okay, here it is, Grissom. It like just popped up. I didn't see this one here before. Neo here. There's a lot of asteroid belts in this one. Benda has a dense atmosphere of sulfuric acid and chlorine, though technically classified as a terrestrial world, but the surface of the planet has never cooled enough for a crust to form. It is a global sea of molten rock. Like Zaharix, its atmosphere is being blasted away by the solar wind. 
once its thick atmosphere is gone, then the surface will be a mere 400 degrees Celsius. Dang. We found a league medallion. Zaharex's nitrogen argon atmosphere is being blasted away by the solar wind of the blue giant grissom. Its surface consists of seas of loose silica dust some kilometers deep which periodically swirl into global sandstorms. Many unmanned probes to Xerox have been lost over the years, though investigation has attributed all to mechanical failure or computational error. A popular extranet meme insists the entire planet is composed of dormant nanotechnology created millennia ago by a race even more advanced than the Protheans. According to the story, Zaharix's silica dust is actually a disassembler, robots which periodically awaken to defend themselves. Though discounted by every reputable scientist, this theory has been popularized by a series of sensationalistic texts by Asari author Delce Orthissa. So a conspiracy, sounds like. Found a lot of beryllium. Very interesting. Glad to see that conspiracies still are around. Oh, it's pretty here. I just like purple. <laughs> the upper levels of Nantaban's atmosphere are inhabited by shoals of tiny ammonia-based life forms, no larger or more complex than the plankton of Earth's oceans. Held aloft by air pressure and wind, these bioluminescent creatures constantly flee from the approach of the Terminator. Should they be exposed to the light and heat of Grissom, they die. Interesting. This must be where we're headed. Yep. Sulcrum is the largest moon of the gas giant Na Nata Natanban. Not Notenben. It has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The crust is composed of various metals with deposits of sodium. As with every body in the solar system, the surface is scorching hot and thoroughly irradiated by the blue giant chrysum. Surface excursions without proper protective gear are to be proven fatal. On approach to Natsuban, Normandy's passive sensor array intercepted a fragmentary coded transmission. Attempted, attempts to decrypt the message were fruitless does not appear to be any software coding language used by the Citadel races. Main Gath area. All right, let's take Tally and Rex. It's probably gonna be a heated situation down here. Let's save because I don't know what's about to happen, but it sounds bad. I also want to look at Tally's stuff real quick because I haven't upgraded like any of her stuff. What does she mainly use? She's a sniper, right? Okay, let's give her some snow blind. It's a bit of an upgrade. That one and I use this one and I like it. The kinet kinetic coil. And she has, yeah, she has medical interface, that one. I have that one, too. Yeah, we'll give her more shields, because she's squishy without shields. Okay. <gasps> Look how cool that looks. It's moving. Wow, that's crazy. I swear, every place that I go to, I'm like, this is my favorite. <laughs> All right, this must be our destination where we have to go because that's just debris and an anomaly. So let's head over there. I wonder if we can hit them from out here. Probably. that well. I'm going to try to get closer and use this rock up here as cover. 
It's very blurry from back there. This should work well. I could get a life readout on this thing. Okay, he's down. You could go and like try and run it over. Let's go. Try to hit it. I'm tired of getting hit with these blue orbs. It makes me feel like I'm like in a pool or something. <laughs> oh, he's almost down. Yeehaw! Okay, it's down. <laughs> oh, look how pretty this is. That's nice. Okay, get out. Get in here. They're their main operation base. Oh, it's empty in here. The heck was that? Oh, there's a lot going on in here. They're throwing like grenades at us. All right, Rex, be careful. Um, you're being blocked, okay. He's dead. He's a big dude. As the last gap falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, Aquarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence laws. The recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus veil. The transmitter shuts down. Is there someone else still in here? No, that's literally the only one. All right, so our journal was updated. Take a look. Oh, so it's just been updated to tell us that we finished the mission. Okay. Nice. Aw, Tally. They don't really talk about it being like her side quest. Like if you guys wouldn't have told me that this was Tally's side quest, I probably wouldn't have known. They don't really... I mean, they mentioned her father being a diplomat and like everything else and... Um, their main missions and stuff like that, but yeah, they kind of don't really make it. Like Rex was like, I need to go get my family armor. I'm going to go get it. And like Tally didn't, he said something afterwards. Like he said something along the lines. Maybe once we get back on the ship, I don't actually think Rex said anything. It was the same like pop-up mes message for him too. Where, like, it told us that he held it tightly, and it was a very sentimental moment for him. But he never really actually said something aloud. So, maybe once we get back to the Normandy, Tally will elaborate more. Number of encrypted Geth data files in the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Oh, okay. Speak to Tally when you're back on the Normandy. And that's how we get Tally and the Geth. Okay. I see now. All right. So let's go down and talk to Tally. I'm excited to see what she has to say. Oop, not that way. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, 
So she should be over here. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. That's not what I want to talk I to you about. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. <laughs> would your dad help us? Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. Mm hmm. Don't worry. We got bigger problems than your father. Yeah. Like Saren and the Reapers. Good point. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Um. I should go. Maybe I need to come out of this conversation and go into another one with her. Maybe it's just like freaking out because we stole the ship and then we didn't do the quest when we were supposed to. Let's try to talk to her again. Shepard, I need to talk yeah. to you. Okay. It's important. Of course. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. So I think I'm going to say for your pilgrimage because that's why we're here. So I want to know more. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. By wiping the Geth out. I don't want her to leave, though. Like, I don't want Tally to leave the... Normandy. Then you'll leave us? If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Saren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Okay. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. That's more than enough. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. My heart. All right, so we completed Tally's pilgrimage. That makes me actually feel a ton better. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. All right, so now we can go back, get up back on track. So we, we are on a stolen ship. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get Saren. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. True. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. No kidding. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. So long, Rex. Shepard. Let's see what Ashley has to feel about our... Commander? Stealing of the ship. What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? Oh, they we can't talk to her about it. They, okay. I think, you know... I wonder if we cool. could ever, like, talk to her about anything else. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Right. It's so strange. Is it like that because I Man. haven't played with Ashley that much? Or is it like this because she just doesn't have much to say? Outside of what she's already shared about, like, her family and her past and stuff like that. She's very interesting. I feel like she's kind of like all the other NPCs around here, like, uh, Captain Richard or whatever his name is upstairs. Um, I feel like that's not his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. I can't believe the guy by the star map. I mean, I'm See, like, even Garrus is commenting on the fact that we stole the ship. Still. You're scared? You sound worried, Garrus. No, not really. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. Don't worry. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. See, even Garrus. So it can't have to do... Because I, I don't think I've taken a Garrus on... I've taken him on one mission, and, and that was so he could kill his escaped prisoner guy scientist so it's very strange 
I wonder if Caden would have had some extra stuff to say. Like, I'm not regretting saving Ashley because in our mindset at the time, like Ashley was the better choice that made the most logical sense and just who I wanted to pick. But I'm a little bit disappointed that there's not more that we can say. It's very interesting to me. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Okay. So we I can't say go. anything to Liara either. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. Which, I mean, it's normal for some crew members to not have anything to say back, but like literally every time with Ashley, there's nothing new to report back. Whereas, like, Garrus is constantly talking about our current events. I don't know. I'm not going to harp on it anymore. It might just be because the game is older and just is what it is. Captain, oh, Navigator Presley. He's not a captain. He just looks like one with his little uniform on. All right. Well, I think we're ready. We're ready to go Message try to Admiral get Sarah Hackett, in. Commander. Patching it through. Who? We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. All right. Well, Honestly, this side quest for Tally was very cool. We got to see some more planets. I feel like I'm not missing such a big chunk of our side questing. So I'm really glad that we got to do that today. All right, we're off to Ilos. Is it Ilos? Ilos? I can't remember. I think it's Ilos. to Talon. A pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of gold. Surface gravity is comfortable at one standard G's. There are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of Downs, Prothe, and Aerostat colonies. Based on the side of, size of the debris field, a population of over 100,000 most likely. A relatively small hydrogen and helium gas giant. There are, se there are sever several tenuous belts of debris in the equatorial orbit. Spectral analysis of the material suggests artificial origin, perhaps the remains of stations that once mined Zave or helium-3. Hmm. And here's... Oh. This place looks terrible. I'm gonna hate it here. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdict, verdant world, dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observations show that this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strikes can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respiring animal life forms have died off. It's sad. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. What? It'll be okay. Don't be pessimistic. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. This music is not fitting. <laughs> like, what's happening here? 
<laughs> this is a romantic moment and I feel like it's very like we're about to have a final boss fight with like her boobs or something. Um, I thought you wanted to wait. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Well? Okay. Just tell me what to do. Are they gonna show this? Ooh. Whoa, just like a straight open mouth. <laughs> Oh, wow, they are showing some stuff. Oh! Whoa. What was that? Oh, this is very intimate. Oh, we're already dressed. We're that kind of woman. By the goddess, <laughs> that was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> um, it was. So are you. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting, Shepard. Whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Wow, that got very spicy. I was not expecting it to, like, be that intense for such an older game, but wow. Wow. I couldn't imagine also, like, thinking about, like, sexual relations right before we're about to deal with all of this. Like, I just, I would be too stressed out. I know some people can just, like, flick a switch and, like, they can live their life, but I'm not like that. I wish I was, uh, but Commander? I would be like, no, don't touch me. Company. I'm too stressed out. Have the sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make mm. it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. I was just about to say, Joker. Joker? He's probably got it. I can do it. Gear up and head I down to the Mako. Him. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah, Joker can handle anything. He's the number one pilot. If he can fly the Normandy, he can do anything. With like the skill and stuff that he can. All right, so I am gonna take Liara and Rex. Um, I would take Tally, but I feel like she'd be better on board, kind of like overseeing all this stuff. Um, plus her pilgrimage is complete. Like if she died in battle or something happened to her, like her entire race is relying on that geth data that we just got. So like she can't go. I mean, not that any of their lives are invaluable. I'm not sure if like, I'm like nervous that someone's going to die and I'm kind of scared that Rex is going to die, but we're going to try our best out there. We're going to try our best. And these are the two that I'm going to bring with me. These are our mains right now, Rex and Liara. I'm kind of like nervous for what's about to go down. Gosh, this looks bad. Ew, look at the bodies in the background. <gasps> Sorry. Coming in hot. <laughs> you two, keep moving inside now. Wacko! Oh dang, we just missed him. 
Let's go Joker. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. Yeah, something. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay. Wow, this place looks crazy. All right, let's see. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Oh. There's some like weird terminal things going on here. What are these? There's lights. How's our health? Everyone's okay. Yeah, they look like just like weird terminals. It's like weirdly beautiful here. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just like very weirdly beautiful. <laughs> there is one thing that I want to make sure. Mm, okay. Why aren't they fighting? Why are they just standing there? Are they bugged out? I feel like they're bugged out. He's dead. Looks like we go down that way. I just want to see what this terminal is over here. I'm so okay, there they are. They're online now. Everyone's health, we're all okay. Okay, he's down. I think we've seen all those weapons before. Look how creepy these like statues look. Like, oh, you just look bad. All right. So I did notice there's a lot of different ways that we can go here. So I'm guessing this might be like some sort of loot down here. So I'm going to go ahead and head that way first. Because we still have quite a bit of a ways. There's an elevator too. Jeez, this place is huge. All right. So I'm going to run down this way first. I did see there was like a small opening over here. Now that I know it's a dead end, I wonder if it's just like a loot container or something that I'm just going to go grab. Hmm, maybe not. Might just be like, oh no. What's that? What the heck? Oh, it's one of those things. There's one behind me. I just don't know where it is. It must be like down to my right. Yep, it's right here. Okay. I thought this was a dead end. I have no idea where I am now. This place is huge. Okay. There's just some like loot locked crates over here. So yeah, it looks like just like a loot area. Super creepy here. All right, I don't 
don't see anything else over here. Okay. There was another locker over this way. Like, where am I on the map right now? Oh, there's like a trench. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we're in the trench. Decryption? Oh, it's a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, this one's hard. <gasps> no, I almost made it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I just gave me XP. All right, speaking of XP, Let's take a look at everything that we have picked up so far. Make sure none of it is better, which I don't think it is. I've been keeping an eye on what we're picking up just to like, make sure there's no names that I haven't seen before, but yeah, we're not picking up anything that's amazing. Although the shields on this are very good. Hmm. I could, I think I'm gonna equip this. What does it look like? Huh, looks pretty, looks pretty good. And we'll keep the exo, we'll keep like medical interface. And now that we have a second perk, we can just do like extra shields so that it equals the amount that we had before. Yeah, let's do this one. If we're like super squishy, I might change it to damage, but I think we'll be okay. There's really anything over here. I think it's just like a place to loot. Okay. Well, we definitely didn't come in this way, so we need to be mindful of where we are right now. So we're coming back up. Oops. We went down this way, went around, and now we're just like coming back up. Okay. There is an elevator over there, so and over there where they lead i do not know but we should probably go head there this place is super creepy any loot over here doesn't look like it The elevator is on the other side of this. This place is a maze. So let me go. I'm going to go see what's, what the elevator takes us to. Because I'm curious. And it's the first thing that we technically run into. So oh, we don't have access yet. Okay. Good. Good to know. Okay. We don't have access to the elevator yet. weirdly creeped out that it's like semi beautiful here with like they kind of make it look like flowers but like there's so much like death and just stuff going on here it just kind of reminds me of like the saying like there's beauty in the downfall and like it's giving me the creeps i don't want to like it here <laughs> don't want to like it let's go ahead and save while we're in like a quiet area I'm just gonna keep following these like light terminals. 
because it seems like they might be leading us to something. Gosh, that's so creepy. I hate it. Okay, um, let's go this way. There's some more red dots up here. There's quite a few, actually. Rex, your armor needs some work, buddy. Let's go, Tally. Good job. Is he dead? I can't tell. I think so. I'm not seeing a life form. Yep. Okay. health is okay. The music here is so intense. <laughs> okay. No upgrades. So where am I on the map? Courtyard? All right. Guessing we'll come up to something soon. We're reaching the end of the line here. Ooh, that elevator works. Okay. Nothing over here. Can I climb up this? Ooh, that scared me. Ooh, there's a lot of them here. Okay, so there's another elevator over here, too. So what is that one down below? Let me go check this out real quick before we leave. Can I get up here? I wonder if that's for, like, loot. Let me go see what this elevator does first. I'm gonna press the button. See where it takes us. Everyone's on board? Okay. Okay, that takes us up to where I was just looking at. Because here's that crate. I was like just standing down there. Okay. Armageddon. I feel like that's new. Hmm. Not better. Okay. okay. So it was just for that chest. Interesting little like loot spot. <laughs> what was that? So let's go up to this elevator. This is probably where we're supposed to go next. That overlooks where we just were. Oh, this one you can actually see moving. We're going down. I wonder if we're like going down to where the first elevator was. No. This place. It must be running off its own 
This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Okay. on the other side of the statue right in front of us. Oop. Okay, he's down. He's down. Don't charge us. He's down. There's one behind us? How the heck did they get back there? I just saw a red dot behind us on the map. Okay, I think that was a mistake. Maybe it was like a grenade or something? Last minute missile launch? Okay. This place is so creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy. Amateur repair stage stage? Oh, armature. Okay. Sounds like amateur repair station. Is that why their guns are so crappy? <laughs> a business siren's got running in here. Oh boy, okay. That wasn't great. I don't have any more missiles. Why isn't it attacking? Is it friendly? Um, okay. Strange. Maybe we're hacking into it and we're making it friendly, like it's on our side. Oh, armature hacked. It just, I just saw it pop up that time. Nice. What else is in here? There's like a way up this way. What's over here? Security panel. All right, so let's go up. Security panel. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. What? But I can understand. Yeah, I can understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you Side make out the archives? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Uh, this sounds really bad. Like, have they already attacked the Citadel? They mentioned the Citadel, all is lost. It's not clear. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. 
cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. This doesn't sound good. All right, let's keep going up. Nothing else is up here. It's just like an overlook. Okay, so... There has to be a way to get to that straight path that I just looked at on the map. Yeah, through here. And then... Wait. How do I get over there? It's like straight this way. Interesting. Do I have to go back up? I didn't see anywhere else. Oh, maybe through the center. Okay. That was really close. Alright. I think I haven't thrown, like, points into my... Like, since I did, like, the... Yeah, I have five points. What am I doing? <laughs> I think that for, like, Mass Effect 2 and 3, I know that they're supposed to be harder than this one. I might, like, up my difficulty a bit because I feel like we just haven't really been, like... Super challenged here. I don't know. Like, it's been good. It feels good. It feels very fun. The combat in here is fun, but... I feel like I could be, like, challenged a little bit more, but I'll have to look. I'm scared to look up anything on Mass Effect because I'm scared of spoilers. But in the comments, if you guys want to tell me, like, what difficulty you think that I should play Mass Effect 2 and 3 on, I will take suggestions. This one we're playing on Veteran. I probably could have bumped it up one more. Um, I think there's, like, Hardcore after that. I was worried that Hardcore meant, like, if you die, you die forever. So I didn't do hardcore, I just did veteran, but... There's only been like a couple times where I felt like I was actually like challenged. Okay, so we're back up by like the main area. Okay. Um. So we've hacked into the main system. We should be able to go into the door over here, right? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Take the Mako. <laughs> it is definitely creepy down here. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This is this crazy. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. <laughs> Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap around Bush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking oh, we too. we just have yet to run into it. True. This is crazy. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. Oh. Action ahead. So they were freezing themselves in these pods. Look how many there are. Like, they're are just alleyways full of these crazy cryogenic pods. It's huge. 
What's that? What is that? Oh my god. Oh. What happens now? Eh. <laughs> is this possible? I after all we've been through and we hit one tree and then we we are, are capsized. What is going on? <laughs> times have we been on a planet where like we should have flipped on top and like nothing bad ever what is going on oh my goodness i didn't even think that was possible in the mako I'm just trying to ruin my immersion what is happening it's a trap Saren must have set an ambush i do not think Saren is behind this what is this? Oh, there's a, uh, oops, wrong button. There's a door. It's an ambush. Poor Rex. He sounds stressed out. Where's Rex? Oh, okay, he's in here. I believe we flipped the Mako. I didn't think that was, I legitimately did not think that was possible. <laughs> You're always been through nothing. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. This is crazy. Vigil? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. What are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. What do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. What? When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. What? How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. That's crazy. The Keepers. The like ominous tone behind, gosh, I forget her name now, but the AI that's in charge of like the tours and telling you where things are in the Citadel. They're always like, don't touch the Keepers. They don't like, but no one ever knows what they are. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. 
The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Yeah, it's the perfect trap where people feel safe, where people feel like the new city is being born. And yeah, Saren's gonna activate it. How are we gonna stop it? I'm like trying to rack in my head, like what could this, what could Vigil say to us right now that was like, that could stand, we could stand a chance. Like, I don't even understand how we could stop an entire mass relay by ourselves. It's crazy. Yeah, Saren's gonna activate it. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. Yeah. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. This is crazy. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. I don't think they give in to surrender. That's the entire reasoning behind why the Reapers are so terrible for humanity, because they don't want humanity to survive. They want to wipe over and start new. Just like when we met that one in Pharos. Um, wow. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why did they leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Why? Why would they do this? I mean... When we talk to that one main reaper, it's pretty much just because they don't see value in human life. They don't see value in anything other than the reapers and they rule the world. I mean, is it like out of like pure sheer enjoyment that they just enjoy watching humanity start from anew and then they just wipe it out? when they've gone too far or technology gets to be too much. It's just, it's wild. Why do they do this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Yeah. Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? They just like genocide? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. Ugh, that gives me chills. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. But I want to know, why? Why? 
How do I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How didn't they find you? How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So you just... what did you do? How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Wow. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I can't believe that happened. It's monstrous. Uh, I mean... He's saying that he didn't have enough power. Like, he had to do it to keep himself alive. Like, if the main system dies, then everyone would have died anyways. But yeah, you betrayed them. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. Yeah. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. The Keepers? Like the robots? The ones in the Citadel? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers yeah. are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. I see. Yeah, unless Saren succeeds in getting the key. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Yep. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. What do we need to do? I'll stop Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, we need to hurry. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. This is absolutely wild. What happened to the Prothean scientists? What happened to the survivors from the conduit project? They used the conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the conduit is only a prototype. 
The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Oh my gosh. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. So, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Wow. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Well, yeah, that explains the gag. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. It's so crazy how all of this is like tying together. This is just wild and mind-blowing. Holy moly. Like, I'm just, I'm speechless. This is crazy. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? Yeah. And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? Yeah, how does that link it? At our apex, the beacon spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Yeah, it's very risky. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Okay. Yeah, the last question about the Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? Has it he been is here logical all along? to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. Yeah. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Yeah, they could have just attacked. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. Crazy. This is so crazy. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. 
This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, you're right, but I've asked everything that I have to ask. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Yeah, we've already asked everything. Okay. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay. My mind is like blown right now, honestly. Absolutely blown. I was not expecting any of this to go down that way. It all makes sense now. The conduit is not a weapon, but a backdoor into the citadel, which is actually an enormous mass relay. Saren will use the conduit to get into the citadel and unlock it, ushering in a reaper invasion that will destroy all organic life in the galaxy. Saren has used the conduit to get onto the citadel. You have to stop him from transferring control of the citadel to Sovereign. All right, we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna try our best to hurry. I'm wasting enough time here. They did like a really all good job. Culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I thought that these like cryogenetic pods, I mean, just like, uh, just like Liara, I thought they were for the Geth, like they were just hibernating in there, but nope, they're in the Citadel. And I was just about to say before, like Liara said something, like they did such a good job at not giving away like any information on the plot twist that just happened, like. It's absolutely wild how they, how well this story was written. Like sometimes when you're like watching a movie or a show, you can kind of like tell that it's gonna go a certain way. I was not able to tell at all what was about to happen here. Not a single clue. My mind is blown. I just hope that we can get there in time. I don't really know what to expect. Is it gonna be a happy ending? I don't know. Is it based on how we react? There's some over here. Let's just do tactical armor. It's just wild. Like, I'm still thinking about everything that Vigil just said. Like, absolutely wild. And then, like, to program a computer to, like, like, they thought of everything. They thought of literally everything. It's crazy. I'm gonna try to jump that. So I'm guessing we're just like heading back to the Normandy right now or trying to at least. Oh my gosh, I cannot drive well like that. 
There's one more. What is he still alive? Oh, he's right here. What's over there? Why is it beep? Why is? Oh, it's like back at the aqueduct. Okay. Let's keep going. There's another like weird wall up here. <gasps> what is that? There, the conduit. It's incredible. Oh. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look how many of them there are. This is crazy. Everything. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. No. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? <gasps> wow. He got there fast. Conduit closing. Okay, we gotta hurry. Thirty-six seconds all right we're just gonna go for it we're going no nope. we don't have time to fight anyone we just gotta go 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 wow this thing looks crazy okay beam me up scotty Holy crap. So what is it just going to like yeet us? Critical failures detected across all To the citadel? Systems. Please begin emergency In the Mako? evacuation. Yup. The uh, mass relay sculpture is not a sculpture. It is an actual mass relay. Great. Should we talk to Avina? The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions no across kidding. the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Oh no. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Uh, do you know where Saren is? Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is near the vicinity of the council chamber. Great. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel security is unable to respond at this time. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Okay, Please well, we know where he's heading. Evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical. He's heading up this way to the council area, so I'm guessing that's where the ma the main computer is. This is not a drill. This is crazy. 
I did not see any of this coming. Like, this is just wild. Wow, we're just killing the keepers. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Now that I look at the Citadel, it does look like- Don't let the enemy the... ships inside the arms. Why is that so loud? It kind of looks like the Rachni, like, claw. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Jeez. Uh, just plows through every single one of the... Wow. This is bad. This is really bad. What is it doing to the relay? Plugging itself in or just landing? Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Mm. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. What is there, no gravity right now? Thinking about like when we sat on the edge and looked at, oh my gosh. We were looking at the city and the Citadel and stuff like that and all the colonies and people in it. It's just, it's crazy to think what's happening right now everywhere. Everyone's probably freaking out. Am I going the right way? Oh my god. He's done. wild okay good there's no one there I'm not doing anything uh, there's one up here to the right oh I missed this is wild Gotta hurry. I'm like scared to get close to this thing. Look how huge it is. I have no idea what it's doing over there. There's one more, yeah. He's back there. Oh, there's a there's actually a lot more. He's dead. Bing. Is he dead? He might not be actually. Oh, he's dead now. Good job, Dolly. <laughs> Alright, Liar. <laughs> Alright, okay. He's down. How's everyone's health? We're good. Who's that? Okay, there's a lot more up here. Okay. 
This is crazy. He's dead. I don't see anyone else. What does he do? What is the ship doing right now? Like, I don't even... I'm scared to see what's going on over there. one more down here. It's down. There's one more around the corner. Thank you, Liara. Can we see what it's doing now? No, I have no idea what it's doing. All right, I think I'm gonna auto save. I'm gonna go ahead and save. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm just so like absorbed in the story right now. It's crazy what is happening right now. What is this? The fuse panel? Okay, maybe that will help take down the ship. Is that hurting it at all when I do that? I don't think it is. I think I just need to be like shooting at the Geth to get the skill too low. Oh dang, that stinks. I think if we would have had Tally with us, we would have been able to do it. Wait for my gun to cool down. Okay. There we go. Death like dropship health is going down as I kill these guys. So I think that's all that we need to do is just kill them. Yeah, because that's not doing anything by like <laughs> shooting at it, I don't think. I can't really. Okay, it's dead. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna save real quick. This fight is pretty cool. That ship looks crazy. Oh, there's... Oh! Ooh, two big mamma jammas down here. He's down. There's one more. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Dally. <laughs> okay, he's down. Watch out for the missile, Liara. Oh, there's more. What is that, a missile? I'm just coming up here, grenade launching people. It's crazy. Okay, there's one more, like, right outside. Just down there. Are those turrets? I think that one's down. Oh, there's a lot of them. We are as like blocking Rex from doing his job right now. <laughs> okay, that one's down. I think there's two more. There's so many of these. I 
actually doing like a really good job at staying in cover. Like normally they'll be like out here causing mayhem. Oh jeez. Okay, that one's down. Let's go. He's down. Looks like there's a few more on my map. Like over here. Oh, there's one. He's down. Down here. He's down. <laughs> down. Two more to my right. They're down. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. This is like really cool. I know I keep saying it, but like, I'm just, this is really cool. I'm glad that we chose to do like sniper because this is like the perfect sniper run. Final boss, like, it's just very cool. It's very, very cool. Okay, there's something over here to my right. An access hatch. Oh, we're inside the Citadel Tower. Let's go. Okay. Some Metagel. I'm gonna go ahead and save while we're in here. Because I know Saren's like right at the top of those steps. Or at least he should be, unless he's already done. There's one up here. It's down. There's two. There's one, he's down. It's the other one, he's down, I think. He might actually still be alive. Yeah, he's still alive. He's dead now. So Saren should be like right up here. <gasps> Do we make it in time? Did he finish? What the heck? Look at his I was arm. You wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time. I'm here now. Let's end this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full oh, control finished. of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. No, we can stop them. We can still hack in, right? I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter. Yeah, we have the thing that Vigil but gave I've us. Since then, improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. I knew his arm looked different. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? Yeah, he's you like slowly becoming Shepard. more gas. There is a place for organics in the new order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. No. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and no. we can find a place for you. I'd rather die than live like that. Yeah. Then you will die, and your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped, not by the Protheans, not by you. The cycle always continues. We can beat them together. Will this work? It kind of sounds like when he's like, don't you understand? Like, it kind of sounds like he's having a moment of, like, lucidness, where he's like, don't you understand? Like, everyone's going to die. This is a warning. Can we talk him out of it? Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. 
We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Don't give in to them. You can fight it. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <sighs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not true. You can fight it. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. <gasps> That's so sad. Uh, <sighs> he knew what he was doing was wrong. We talked him into lucidness. Oh, man. Oh, my stomach. Poor Saren. We spent this entire Mass Effect 1 hating him. From the moment we stepped in the door, we spent hating Saren. Like in the back of my mind, I knew that he could only become lucid for a split second because that's what happened with Liara's mom as well, the matriarch. Like she was only lucid for a little bit. She could only see it for a second. Oh, that's so sad. Sarah's so close, I can smell him. Rex, this is not the time. That is like the worst line. I know that that was probably like an act like I'm not, probably not supposed to be doing this right now. Have to stop, Saren. Yeah, this is like the worst timing for this right now. I was looking for something from them. Just that was not what I was looking for. Oh, poor Saren. Okay, let's activate the control panel. We can fix this. His life will not be in vain. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Oh, I'm glad Joker Soviet is Destiny still Commander. here. I was worried. One of those ships that, like, the Sovereign just rammed into looked exactly like the Normandy. I was worried. It's me. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? True. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold True. them back <laughs> until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Oh, Coming no. Now to save the Ascension, or hold back. Oh, no. Rex is over here like the little devil on my shoulder being like, just murder the council. They've never done anything good for you. And then Liara is over there, the angel, being like, no, save them. They're people. They matter, too. Oh. I don't want to make this decision. Concentrate on the Sovereign, right? We should concentrate on killing the main source. Uh, I'm just going to say this one because I can't like choose to save her. I don't really want to save them. I'm, I'm on Rex's side of like, they've never done anything for you. If we were the council situation right now, they'd be like, mm. eh. so sorry. We can't do anything about your situation. But I just can't blatantly, like, hit this button. I just, I can't in good conscience do that. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. Thank you, Angel Liara. <laughs> Thank you. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, 
We're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Oh, Joker said, nope. Beep. <laughs> oh, boy. We need to get the... We need to focus on the Sovereign, like, or else this is just going to keep happening. And who knows what they have up their sleeve next time. We have to focus on the, on the Sovereign. It needs to go. Make sure he's dead. What is he not dead? Why is this so creepy? Okay, well. He's dead. What's happening? <gasps> Rex, Liara. the sovereign like implanting themselves in him or something oh my god this seems very bad this seems really bad oh no i am sovereign and this station is mine This one, this one. Wait, what is that? Stasis? Okay, you try to do some stasis again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. He's so fast. Get it. Anything that shoots at it is just like exploding. What the heck? Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Oh no. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down, no matter what the cost. Admiral Hackett. No, Joker. All right, let's patch everyone up. I didn't realize how close we were to death there. Where the heck is? Saren. There he is. <gasps> Patch up. All right, let's do some more stasis. Um, I think I actually have to be aiming that way. And this one. He's so fast. Rocket balls. Okay. Liara is almost dead. Do we have other guys that we're fighting down here right now? There's two other arrows. Okay, there's Liara. Everyone's okay. That guy, he's dead. Can't see anything. Okay. Let's go. I think he's like pretty close to being dead. <gasps> OK, 
Okay, I think I got him that time. Man. Well, he's dead for real now. Did killing him, like, do that to the sovereign? Its shields are down. Now's our chance. Let's go. Get it with everything we got. Normandy's the best ship for that. Oh, I'm getting like chills right now. We're going in. This is so good. Yeah, get it. Oh. Yes. They need to make sure every single part of that ship is burned to the ground, deleted, just taken apart. Not even a single Go! finger. Oh. Oh no. That was like right on top of us. sad music okay there's Liara and Tal and Captain Rex Anderson, we found them. They're in here. I'm glad they're safe take it easy it's over you're safe now where's the commander Died? Wait, seriously? I died? Please tell me. Okay. Whew. I was like, they really wouldn't like kill off the main character. Like, what? Okay, that gave me chills. Woo. The saver of the world. <sighs> Little smile. Oh my gosh, my whole body is just like full of goosebumps right now. <laughs> What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting that with all so my teeth good. still in place. Holy you should crap. thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. My eyes were like watering. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk Holy about what moly. happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree. But this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. Will they accept that? I mean, I wasn't really a fan of the council to begin with, but yeah, that doesn't seem right. This wasn't some plan for the Alliance to no. seize power. Forcing the other races to accept our leadership is going to cause problems. Yes. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, I don't believe you, anything Shepard. you say. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given mm. everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. Well, definitely not you, sir. I think Captain Anderson should be. 
not only did he go and like sacrifice himself like i don't know what happens to people that have treasonous charges here if it's like a life or death crime type of thing or forever in jail but like captain anderson deserves this role 100 percent. we're about to go to war we need someone with military yeah. experience someone like captain anderson for you sure. make a good case captain are you ready for this i don't know if any of us are ready for this but i'll do what i can so what happens now now the real work begins the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Yeah, we need to extract them 100%. They need to be gone. Or else they're just Shepherd's gonna start right. reforming. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reaper's return and drive them back into dark space. Oh, man. That was amazing. Holy crap. Like, for such a, like, dated game. Holy moly, that was good. The story, the like ending, like all of it and the in-between. All of the music except for the elevator music. Wow. Wow, that was so good. <sighs> all right. Because I like watching the the end credits play for games that I, I mean, most of the games that I finish and I really enjoy, I'm just gonna kind of like talk through these while we end here. So I'm gonna do my normal, like make it big. That was awesome. That was actually amazing. I'm really, really glad that I decided to play through this entire series. I did not see the plot twist going that way at all. Like, I had no idea that the Citadel could have been a mass meet relay. Like, and the whole entire sculpture in the center that I, I like, looking back at my very first episode and, like, looking at the Citadel and us standing there by the sculpture and talking about how cool it is and, like, everything that all of our side quest characters said like tally was talking about how the citadel the mass relay was even made and just all of it all of the small things that just fit into the end story i'm like i have chills still it was so good i'm really really looking forward to mass effect 2 and 3. i cannot wait to get started i will probably post mass effect 2 um if not like shortly after this one then like probably one week after this one i am probably gonna start filming it tomorrow <laughs> that's how excited i am to like get to filming and um jump into mass effect 2 so thank you guys so much for all the love to these videos i have definitely enjoyed my ride here i'm really glad that we got to finish tally's pilgrimage today that was something that i was really worried we weren't going to be able to backtrack and do so i'm glad that we were able to finish that today and thank you guys thank you so much for joining me on this amazing ride i i'm just blown away i'm completely blown away so i will see you guys hopefully in mass effect 2 thank you to all my subs thank you to all my comments and likes on these videos i hope that you enjoyed the ride as much as i did um if there is another class for um a sniper or anything i don't know what the classes look like coming into mass effect 2 if there's like anything similar to what we had i'm just gonna keep doing what we did in this one because i honestly really enjoyed it and from what i've read and heard from you guys the sniper rifle wasn't one of the best ones in mass effect 1 but it kind of got like a rework if you guys haven't played mass effect 1 in a while and it's been a while since you've stepped in there um i urge you to go try out that class because it was super fun it was 
I don't think I could have played any other way. Looking back on like our choices that we could have, what we, what class we could have played, I would have not been happy in any other one than the one we picked. So I will see you guys on the next one. I'm not sure how long these titles are going to go on for. So I will leave you here because it looks like a, a lot of amazing people went into making this very awesome game that I had no, oh, it looks like it's ending now actually, but I guess we can just sit here and enjoy it. This music's actually very good. You can hear it over my talking. So thank you guys so much for all of your amazing comments, all of the likes, all of everything. I know I've said thank you like a bajillion times by now, but seriously, thank you guys so much. I couldn't have asked for more love to these videos than I had gotten. So thank you for all of your time watching this amazing playthrough. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you guys in Mass Effect 2. Bye, everyone.